All right, so this is <clears throat> section 2.1 2.7, test review number two, that will cover the test that will be on Tuesday. So number one, graph the following equations and name the translations for each graph. So graph A, y equals negative, parentheses x minus three quantity squared plus one. So my transformations, I see I have a reflection. X minus three, so that means that moves to the right three. And the plus one, up one. B, y equals negative x squared plus four. Again, the negative tells me I have a reflection. It doesn't go left or right any, but it goes up four. And finally, C, again, that negative out front, I see I have a reflection. In parentheses, x minus four, so it goes right four and up two. Over here, I'll make my table for my parent function, x squared, so negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. So I know this is four, one, zero, one, and four. So here I'll do the x, y table for a. So I'm gonna have x plus three, negative y plus one. So I'll take all of my original x's and add three to them, and I'm gonna get one, two, three, four, and five. Then I take all my original y's, I make them negative and add one to them. So then I get negative three, zero, one, zero, and negative three. All right, so I'm gonna plot those first. So my vertex was at three, one, two, zero, three, sorry, four, zero, one, negative three, five, negative three. So and then I'm gonna go ahead and label this so this is parabola A. That's what the colors for you. So now I'm going to do parabola B. Get my XY table. Um, my X's don't change. My Y's become negative Y plus 4. So I have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Change the value of all my original Y's and then add 4. So that gets me 0, 3, 4, 3, and 0. So I'm going to plot those. Let's see. There is that problem. And again, I'll label it B. Switch colors one last time for us and do parabola C over here. X, Y table. So let's see, I go to the right four. So X plus four, negative. So reflect, so negative Y plus two. So I take all my original X's and I add four. So I get two, three, four, five, and six. And then negative two, one, two, one, and negative two. So over four, up two, over three, up one, and six, negative two. here negative two. So here is my C problem. Okay, so that is part A. Number two, write the exact x-intercepts for graph C. So graph C says y equals negative x minus four quantity squared plus two. Exact x-intercepts mean absolutely no decimal, so I need to solve this. I can either do completing the square or I could do quadratic formula or I could just go ahead and set it equal to zero as it is. It's already factors, so let's just set it equal to zero. So negative x minus four quantity squared plus two equals zero. Move my two over, so negative x minus four quantity squared equals negative two. Divide both sides by negative to get rid of that negative. x minus four quantity squared equals positive two. Take the square of both sides. So now I have x minus four equals positive and negative square root of two. And finally add four. So x equals four plus or minus the square root of two. Those are the two exact x-intercepts. Number three, graph the line y equals x minus one on the above grid. So if I'm graphing y equals x minus one, my slope is one, my y-intercept is negative one. I'll change colors first to do that. So change colors again. So I start at negative one on the y-axis. My slope was one, so up one over one. Up one over one. Up one over one. 
done whatever we want. So this is the line. And then it also asks how many times does the line intersect each parabola? So I'm going to list parabola A, parabola B, and parabola C. So let's go back up and look at that. So parabola B was in blue. It's crossing twice. Parabola A was in the purple, it's never touching it. C was in green, it's never touching that. So, A, how many times does the line intersect? None, never. B, twice. And C was also none. Okay. So let's go to the back. Find the equation of a parabola in standard form. Remember, standard form looks like f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. It passes through the points. So remember, this is where we take each point and we plug in for x and y. So if I take the point 0, 6, I have 0 squared times a plus 0b plus c equals 6. So that turns into c equals 6. Isn't that nice? I already have one of my answers. Mm -hmm. Negative 315, negative 3 squared A minus 3B plus C equals 15. And finally, negative 6, 6. Negative 6 squared A minus 6B plus C equals 6. So this equation gives me 9A minus 3B plus C equals 15. This one gives me 36A minus 6B plus C equals 6. I already know that C equals 6, so I can plug that into both of those equations. So 9A minus 3B plus 6 equals 15. 36A minus 6B plus 6 equals 6. Set so each of these equal to um, 0. We'll get the A and B by itself. Sorry, get the A and B by itself. So here I get 9A minus 3B equals, so 15 minus 6 gets me 9. 36A minus 6B equals 0. So now I have to, with these, pick one equation to get rid of either A or B. I'm going to multiply this top equation by negative 2, which will get rid of B for me. So when I do that, I get negative 18A plus 6B equals negative 18. Rewrite the bottom equation, add a few together. Negative 18a plus 36a gives me 18a. My b's cancel equals negative 18. Divide both sides by 18, I get a equals negative 1. Now I just need to find b. Plug it into either of these equations, it doesn't matter which one. So if I plug it in right here, 36 times negative 1, oops, sorry, minus or 6b equals 0. So I get negative 36 minus 6b equals 0. Move my 36 over. Negative 6b equals 36. Divide by negative 6. b equals negative 6. So now I know what a, b, and c are. I can write the equation. The equation f of x equals a negative 1, so negative x squared, b minus 6x, and c was 6 plus 6. There's our equation. And this is for Tuesday's test. This is the review for that.